Hey folks, in this video I'll be showing you how to capture HTTPS traffic from Android apps using Fiddler. I want to make something painfully clear before we go any further. This video will not teach you how to do this in a secret or hidden manner. The owner of the phone will be completely aware of the fact that traffic is being monitored, because that's not the intention of this video. What we're actually hoping to do is capture the request created by an app to inspect how it works. We can then use them to create our own APIs, web scrapers, or some other bots for the said application. So to get started, we're gonna need a proxy software to actually capture the web requests. Since I'm on Windows, I'm gonna be using my personal favorite, which is Fiddler. If you're on Linux, then I do think there's a beta version of Fiddler available on Linux as well, but I would suggest a MITM proxy as a good alternative on Linux. Um, but to download Fiddler, you just go to the link in the description and click on the big orange free download button and then just open it up. So once Fiddler is open, you want to go to File and make sure that Capture Traffic is checked. Then just visit a random web page. And if you go back to Fiddler, and if you are able to see these web requests that are associated with the web page you visited, then that means the filter is configured properly and everything is working as it should be. So let me just clear all this out. And then the next thing you want to do is you want to go to Tools, Options, Connections, and make sure that Allow Remote Computers to Connect is checked. Since our Android device is going to be Remotely connecting to Fiddler, you want to make sure that this is enabled. And you also want to note down this port number on which Fiddler is running. We're going to need that for later. And you can just close out of that. Now you want to open up a command prompt. Type in ipconfig. That's basically going to tell you your local IPv4 address, which is this one right here. And you also want to note that down. I'm going to be demonstrating this on a virtual machine, but the steps are going to be exactly the same on your actual device as well. So the next thing you want to do is make sure that your Android device and your PC are on the same network. And then go to Wi-Fi settings on your Android device by long pressing here, long press here, and go to modify network. Um, go to advanced options and change the proxy setting to manual. Now for the proxy host name, you wanna type in the IP address of your PC, which we basically checked out earlier, and is .1.40. And the port number is gonna be the port on which Fiddler is running. It's gonna be 8888 for me. And you can basically leave these other two settings as is, and just hit save. Okay, so now if you actually open up a web browser and try to visit a web page. So yeah, it says your connection is not private and the actual error is that the certificate authority is invalid. So the problem at the moment is that the Android OS does not trust this Fiddler as a valid certificate authority. So to fix that, you need to add Fiddler's certificate as a trusted CA to your Android OS. So to do this, you want to go to ipv4.fiddler, call in the port number, which is 8888. And if you are able to see this Fiddler Echo Service webpage, it means that your proxy was set up properly. If you're not able to see this webpage, it means that you made a mistake somewhere. So go back and take a look at that. You, maybe you entered the wrong IP address or the port number. I don't know, just check it out. But once this web page is open, you wanna go ahead and add the Fiddler certificate by downloading it and clicking here. So download it again. And it's gonna automatically try to add it to your OS. So draw your pattern or pin. Uh, give it a name, it doesn't really matter. And press OK. So Fiddler is installed. And now if you actually try to visit the web page again, 
you can see that it works completely fine. And if you go back to Fiddler, you can see that the traffic is actually being captured as well. So, um, if you go to any website for that matter, the traffic is going to be captured by Fiddler. So that's great, but that's not exactly what we're looking for. It doesn't really help us if we're able to capture the traffic from a web browser. What we actually want is to capture the traffic from various apps. But now we actually have a problem. So if you look here, you can see that from Android Nougat onwards, there's been a few changes to the way that Android handles these custom uh, certificate authorities or CAs. So basically, by default, um, all apps do not trust any custom CAs. So if you're on Android Nougat and above, Unfortunately, there's only one way to fix this, and that is by modifying the application itself. So if you scroll down here, yep, there we go. So this is a network security config file, and what we basically need to do is modify the app so that it actually uses this config file. And this config file actually trusts the user added um, CAs. And to actually add this config file, we need to modify the application's manifest file. So basically you wanna go ahead and download your APK file. I use APK Mirror. I think it's a pretty solid website. And for this example, I'm gonna try to modify and capture traffic from the official Reddit app. So I'm just going to go ahead and download uh, the Reddit application. Uh, I'm going to download the 2.25 version which is the one that I actually tested this out with. I'm not sure if it works on the newer versions or not. But um, just go ahead and download it. I already have it downloaded. And you also need a tool called APK tool. And this tool is going to help us um, basically disassemble the, the APK file and allow us to modify the, the manifest file as well. Now it's pretty easy to install it. There's a really good installation page for APK tool that you can check out. I'm not going to show you how to do that in this video. But just go ahead and install it. And this is basically the APK that I downloaded from APK Mirror. It's the original reddit application apk now what you need to do is basically decompile this so to do that open up a uh, shift click shift right click and select open command window here and now you can use apk tool space d for decompile space the apk name which is going to be reddit original dot apk and that's basically going to unpack this APK file. Uh, we have a few images here that are missing, I think. Shouldn't make much of a difference, but yeah, basically what the APK tool is doing is it's going to unpack this APK into its Java files, XML files, and other resources. Okay, so that is done and it says copying original files, okay. So once that is finished, you should be able to see this directory here with the same name as the apk file. So open it up and now you should be able to see this android manifest xml file. You want to right click it, edit it. And you want to scroll down to find the application tag so this is the application tag right here and you want to add a new attribute like so so this is going to be in the description and it basically tells you or it tells the application itself to use this particular XML file as its network security config file so for those of you who don't know much about Android app development 
the manifest file is basically used for storing meta information about the application itself. So stuff like the list of activities used and um, the basically all the meta information about the app itself is stored in the Android manifest file. So now we need to actually create this network config file within the XML directory. So go ahead and save the manifest file and close out of this. Then go to the RDS or resources folder. Scroll down to XML. And this is where we're going to place our network security config file. And I have it downloaded already. But you can just copy this. Uh, where is it? Yeah, you can just copy this uh, into a XML file and save it as network security config.xml. I'll just leave this in the description. So copy and paste that in here. And now we need to, we've made the necessary changes and we need to actually compile this into a new APK file. And to do that, um, on your command window, just type in APK tool. Uh, B for build and then the, the folder name is just going to be reddit underscore original space dash o and then give an output name I'm just going to call it reddit new dot apk and it's basically going to gather up all the resources within that directory and compile a new apk file so this may take a minute Okay, so it says bullet APK and we have the APK right here. So now we need to basically copy this um, APK file onto our Android device. I'm just gonna do that real quick. Okay, so I've copied the new APK file onto my shared folder. And I'm just gonna go to my file explorer and here it is. So if you're also using Jenny Motion or some kind of virtual uh, virtual machine uh, you can access these shared folders by going to slash mnt slash shared slash your shared folder name so here's the apk file but if you actually try to install it um, let me show you what happens so it says app not installed and this is because the new apk file is not signed so Android, uh, the newer versions at least, does not allow you to install any unsigned APK files. So to sign it, you're gonna need a new app called APK Signer. This is available on the Play Store and I'll leave a link to it as well in the description. So go ahead and install it and open it up. And then you wanna click on this edit button there and... Alright, so... You are going to need to copy this um, to your SD card. There we go. So select the APK file and yeah, that's fine. Save it. So right now it's going to sign the APK file and create a new signed APK file. Here we go. So select it and you may need to allow installation from unknown sources. Install it. And it's gonna be installed just like that. Hit done. And we can close out of this. And there we go, we have our Reddit app right here. I'm just gonna clear Fiddler from any web request we may have and I'm gonna open up reddit so if you look here we are actually getting our web requests there we go and I'm just gonna try to create a login request I'm gonna um, okay I'm gonna try to log in and there we go, we have captured a HTTPS POST request. And if you look here, you can see that all the data is decrypted and completely accessible from Fiddler. 
So this is the post data that's being submitted when you actually try to log in. And this is the address to which you, you submit that data. And you have a bunch of headers here, but um, you're basically going to need to do a, a bit of research to know what they are. But essentially, yep, if you look here, you can see that you also get the decrypted response back. And essentially, you're able to capture whatever web requests um, this application generates, be it HTTP or HTTPS or whatever. So that's basically how you would capture HTTPS requests from Android apps using your PC. But this will not work if the application uses um, a technique called as certificate pinning or SSL pinning, uh, which is basically when the application explicitly states that it only trusts a particular certificate authority. So if, even if you add the Fiddler certificate to your Android OS, and if you, even if you tell the application to trust it in the manifest file, it will not do that. Now this can of course be bypassed using a tool like Frida, but that's for a completely different video. And at the moment, you can only use this with apps that don't do SSL pinning. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment and I'll try to get back to you. This is Arcane from WastedWolf.com and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.